Welcome to lecture number 49 of the series Unreal 5 for Arcways and in this lecture we'll learn how we can switch between different materials by using this interactive walkthrough menu. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all what we need to do is we need to bring in a variant manager. Okay, so for that I'll go into miscellaneous and I'll add level variant sets. I'm going to rename this as interactive walkthrough underscore variant underscore sets. Okay, and I'm going to bring this into the scene. It doesn't have any icon. Just make sure you have this somewhere in your scene. Okay. Let's now open this widget. I'll go into the graph editor and let's increase the render opacity to one. Let's go into the designer tab. And first of all, we're going to work on this bedroom floor. It has three materials. Okay. So let's open this variant manager. I'm going to add a variant set. I'm going to rename this as bedroom space floor. Okay. I'm going to add three variants because we're going to toggle between three different materials. I'll select the first variant. I'm going to select the static mesh, this floor. And from the outliner, I'm going to drag this actor and I'll place it in here. And as soon as I'll drag and place this actor in here, it will show a list of different properties that you can change for the static mesh. I'm going to change the material property. So I'll simply search for material and I'm going to add this material property. Okay. And now under this variant, we have this actor which has this material. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other two as well. I'm going to select the second variant. And I'm going to add this actor in here. I'm going to search for material and I'm going to add a material property. I'm going to do the same thing for this one as well. Okay. Let's now open this widget. We already have this material on our static mesh. So we need to download these two materials and add them in the variant set. Okay. So to download these two materials, I'm going to open the mega scans library. I already have these materials downloaded. So I'll simply go into local and I'm going to add this material into the project. This is the second material. Okay. I'm going to select the second variant and I'm going to select this actor and I'm going to apply this material in here. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for this one as well. I'm going to open the mega scans library and this is the third material. I'll add this into the project and I'm going to apply this material in here. Okay. So now we have three variants in which we have three different materials on one static mesh. Okay. Let's now go into the widget. I'll open the graph editor and and to make this variant work what we need to do is we need to connect this node with get all actors of class and from this drop down menu I'm going to select variant level variant sets actor and I'm going to connect this node with get and I'm going to promote this to variable and here we'll have this new variable. I'm going to change the name of the variable and I'm going to rename this as interactive walkthrough underscore variant sets underscore variable. Okay. Let's connect this node with this one and I'll press and hold control on my keyboard and I'll bring this variable into the blueprint. Okay. Let's go into the designer tab. I'm going to select this button, the first one and making sure this button is selected. I'm going to add this node. Okay. Now I'm going to connect this node with variant switch on variant by name. I'm going to connect this node with this one. And now we need to type in the name of the variant set and the variant itself. Okay. So I'll go into level 
I'll copy this variant set name and I'll place that name in here. Okay. Similarly, we need to type in the name of the variant. I'm going to copy this variant name and I'm going to paste it in here. And make sure you copy these names accurately, otherwise, it won't work. Okay. Let's uh, duplicate this node for the second material. Let's select the second button, uh, this one, and I'm going to bring this second button into the blueprint. I'm going to connect this node with this one, and I'm going to connect this node with the target. Let's create a duplicate copy for the third material. I'll go into the designer tab, I'll select the third material, and I'll bring this node into the blueprint. I'm going to connect this node with this one. And I'm going to connect this node with this one. Okay. I think the name of this variant is variant zero. And for this one, it's variant one. Okay. Let's uh, set the render opacity back to zero. I'm going to select all of them and let's bring them down here so that I don't have to go all the way up each time I have to change the render opacity. Okay. Yeah, let's compile this blueprint and let's play this level. I'll press space bar on my keyboard. And let's change this material to this one. Okay. And in the same way, you can change this material to this one as well. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you want to change the parameters of these materials, what you can do is you can activate the variant of that material by clicking this button. I'm going to select this variant and I'm going to open the details of this material. Let's say I want to change the tile size. I can change the tile size. Let's try five. Yeah, I think five should be okay. You can also tweak the other parameters if you want, but I'm just going to keep it as it is. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, select. Let's activate this third material. I'll open the details of this material and let's set the tile size to maybe like six. Yeah, I think six is okay. So by following this procedure, you can switch between different materials by using the interactive walkthrough menu. Okay. Yeah. You can do the same thing for this wall as well. I'm going to select this wall. I'm going to create a variant set. Let's rename this variant set as bedroom space wall. I'm going to create three variants. I'm going to select this variant and let's drag and drop this actor in here. I want to change the material property. So I'll simply search for material. And you can do the same thing for these two as well. Or what you can also do is you can delete these two and you can simply duplicate this twice. Okay. Yeah. Let's go into the widget. And let's set the render opacity to one. I'll compile this blueprint. Let's go into the designer tab. And this is the second material that we're going to add into our variant set. So for this second material, I'm going to select this wall and I'm going to search for this material in the content browser. And I'm going to apply this material in here. Okay. Similarly, for the third variant, I'm going to search for this material in the content browser and I'm going to apply this material on this slot. Okay. Let's go into the widget tab. I'll go into the graph editor tab and let's create a copy of these four nodes. I'll press control D on my keyboard. Okay. I'll go into the designer tab and we need to add these buttons four, five and six. Okay. So 
I'll select this button. I'll add this node. And I'll do the same thing for these two as well. I'll select all of them. And let's bring them in here. I'm going to connect this node with this one, this node with this one, and this node with this one. Okay. And don't forget to change the name of the variant set. Let's copy this variant set name. And I'm going to paste that name in here. If you change the name of these variants, you need to copy these names in here as well. Okay. Yeah. Let's now uh, set the render opacity back to zero. I'm going to compile this blueprint. And let's play this level. I'll press spacebar on my keyboard. And let's change this material to this one. And I can also change this material to this one. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, save everything. I'll go into the interactive walkthrough folder. So up till now we learned how we can switch between three different materials for one static mesh. Now I'm going to show you how you can switch between three different materials if you have multiple static meshes. Okay. For example, this pet has multiple static meshes. Okay. Yeah. So in this case, the procedure is pretty much the same. I'll create a new variant set. I'm going to rename this variant set as bed. Okay. And I'm going to select all of these static meshes. And I'm going to drag and drop them in here. Let me first create a variant. And now I'm going to drag and drop these actors in here. Okay. Let's search for material. I'll add this material property. And now we have all these actors in here. Okay. Let's now create a duplicate copy of this variant. I'll press control D on my keyboard. And now we have a little problem and the problem is these three static meshes have a different material. Okay. And these four static meshes have a different material. Okay. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this static mesh and I'm going to search for this material in the content browser. I'll create a duplicate copy of this material and I'm going to select these three static meshes. And I'm going to apply this material on this slot. Okay. And similarly, I'm going to select this static mesh. I'm going to search for this material in the content browser. And I'll create a duplicate of this material. Let's select these four static meshes. And I'm going to apply this material on this slot. Okay. Let's uh, open this material and I'm going to activate this variant. Let's increase the contrast. Yeah, I think this is good. I'm going to copy this contrast value and I'm going to open this material and I'm going to paste that contrast value in here. Okay. Let's close this window and now if I'll activate this variant, you can see that we have this material and if I'll activate this one, you can see that we have a different material on all of these static meshes. Okay. Let's open this widget and I'm going to duplicate these four nodes. I'm going to place them here. Let's go into the designer tab. Uh, let me first set the render opacity to one. I'm going to compile this blueprint and I'm going to select these three buttons. Okay. Seven, eight and nine. 
and I'm going to add these nodes. I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to place them here. I'm going to connect this node with this one and I'm going to connect this node with this one, this node with this one. Okay. Don't forget to change the variant set name. I'll copy the name of this variant set and I'm going to paste that name in here. Okay, let's compile this blueprint. Let's play this level. Let me set the render opacity back to zero. And now I can easily switch between these two materials. Okay, but this material doesn't match with this one. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'll open this widget. I'm going to connect this node with this one and I'm going to connect this node with this one. Okay. We don't have a third material, so I'll just delete it. Let's compile this blueprint and let's place this level. Yeah, I think this is accurate. So you can pause this video and work on the third variant as well. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to show you one final thing. Let's say if we have one static mesh, which has multiple material slots. Okay. So for that, what we need to do is let me open this variant manager. I'm going to add another variant set. I'm going to rename this as a uh, cushion. Okay, I'm going to select this variant set and let's add a variant. I'll go into outliner and I'm going to drag this actor and I'll drop it in here. Okay, let's now search for material. And now when I'll search for material property, you can see that we have two material properties, zero and one. This is because we have two material slots on this static mesh. Okay, so you need to select both of them and add them in here. Now when I'll select this actor, we can see two material slots. Okay. Let's duplicate this variant. And I'm going to select this cushion. Let's search for this material in the content browser. And I'm going to drag and drop this material in here. I'm going to select the third variant. I'm going to search for this material and I'm going to apply this material in the slot. Okay. Let's now go into the bedroom. And now when I'll activate the second variant, you can see that we have a different material on this cushion. And when I'll select the third variant, we'll have a different material on this cushion. Okay. Rest of the procedure is exactly the same. We just need to go into the widget. You need to copy these four nodes. And you just need to add three buttons and connect them with these nodes. Okay. So yes, that's it for this lecture. And in the next lecture, let me set this render opacity to one. In the next lecture, we'll learn how we can switch on and off the lights of living room, bedroom and bathroom. Okay. So yes, I'll see you guys in the next one.